People in Westwood are tired of scenes like these. Here in the parking lot of Ferncrest Apartments, 25 year old Willie Miller was shot to death. At some level, it's very personal and it's family, and it's a young life cut off. Mary Jenkins leads the Westwood Civic Association, a group determined to improve the neighborhood. It's my home. I care passionately about it. It makes me sad when I hear people say uh, that their lives are so tragically affected by violence, that they're scared to have their kids play outside, that they worry about the youth in our neighborhood. Jenkins says Cincinnati police and city leaders are working hard to help end violence here. According to Cincinnati police crime stats, the problem extends beyond Westwood. In District 3, which includes Westwood, 12 homicides in 2016. It's a 33% increase in the same time last year, adding to the concern an increase in robberies and aggravated assaults. It's not the norm or something that we don't want to accept. Aaron Pullins is with the Cincinnati Human Relations Commission. His focus is to spread a message of hope, opportunity and stopping violence. The shooters are getting younger. The victims are getting young, getting younger. We just had a funeral with a 17 year old. You know, last year we had some 14 year olds. The stats show other areas of the city with downward trends when it comes to violent crimes. Westwood neighbors say positive energy and community involvement will help that trend spread. Now, some people we've talked with say that they believe that drug trafficking is actually the problem here. They say drugs like heroin are causing more and more violence issues. Now, that's not exactly clear to us tonight. We will be working to get more information from Cincinnati police in the future. But that's certainly one big reason that people here tonight are saying they want to keep spreading such a positive message to kids here in the Westwood community. We are live for you tonight here in Westwood. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.